Will the Jan. 6 committee set its sights on the Supreme Court? Ayer John Eastman, who played a central role in Donald Trump's prolonged effort to stay in office after losing re-election, claimed to have inside knowledge that Supreme Court justices were debating whether to intervene in a 2020 election case, according to emails reported by the New York Times Wednesday. So the odds are not based on the legal merits but an assessment of the justices' spines, and I understand that there is a heated fight underway, Eastman said in a reported email exchange with Kenneth Chesbro, a pro-Trump lawyer, and Trump campaign officials, weeks after the election. At one point in the exchange, Chesbro reportedly wrote, I don't have the personal insight that John has into the four justices likely to be most upset about what is happening in the various states, who might want to intervene so I should make it clear that I don't discount John's estimate. While Eastman may have been bluffing about having such insight, the Times report came the same day the Washington Post reported that the January 6 committee had recently obtained email correspondences between Eastman and Virginia, Ginny. Thomas, the wife of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas and conservative activist who was involved in efforts to overthrow the election. The contents of the emails remain unclear but they show that Thomas's efforts to overturn the election were more extensive than previously known, according to the Post. Previous reports of Ginny Thomas's post-election activities have even prompted calls for Justice Thomas to recuse himself from such cases, but the January 6 committee had reportedly not previously pursued an interview with Ginny Thomas. These emails have apparently prompted a reconsideration, as the committee's members and staff reportedly debated whether to use their public hearings to explore her involvement the Post reported Wednesday. That would certainly put the January 6 spotlight on the Supreme Court, which earlier this year rejected Trump's request to block the release of his White House records to the congressional panel. The only justice who sided with Trump on the issue was Thomas. The email exchange between Eastman, Chesbro, and the campaign officials discussed whether to file legal papers that they hoped might prompt four justices, the minimum needed to take up a case, to agree to hear an election case from Wisconsin, the Times reported. Eastman, who once clerked for Justice Thomas, suggested that they help those justices willing to do their duty by giving them a Wisconsin cert petition to add into the mix. Chesbro, who at one point, quoting hockey legend Wayne Gretzky, said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, agreed, getting this on file gives more ammo to the justices fighting for the court to intervene and, a campaign that believes it really won the election would file a petition. Chesbro even cited the potential for chaos on January 6 as a way to encourage the justices to weigh in on the election results before Congress certified Joe Biden's victory. Odds of action before January 6 will become more favorable if the justices start to fear that there will be wild chaos on January 6 unless they rule by then, either way, Chesbro reportedly wrote. As the Times notes, Chesbro said this only a few days after Trump tweeted for his supporters to attend a protest on January 6. Will be wild. This would be the Stop the Steal rally that preceded a violent mob storming the Capitol, an event that Slate's Mark Joseph Stern notes Eastman spoke at, and Ginny Thomas admitted that she attended.